Welcome to Differentiate Seesaw Activities for Diverse Learners. Seesaw tools help you make rigorous content accessible for all learners in any setting. In this training, you will learn how to add multimodal scaffolds to activity templates, integrate voice and choice into learning, and stay organized with Seesaw tools. First, support diverse learners by adding multimodal scaffolds to activities. Scaffolds are temporary supports teachers put in place to reduce barriers to learning. Create a copy of an existing activity and modify it for diverse learners. On any activity, click on the three dots, then copy and edit activity. Today we'll focus on four research-based scaffolds you can add to any activity template. First, include multimodal instructions to eliminate a common barrier to entry for many students, knowing what they need to do. Seesaw activities support typed instructions, Seesaw icon shortcuts, and emojis. You can also record audio directions and attach an example, like an engaging photo or exemplar. Multimodal directions allow students to access instructions in multiple ways, so they know exactly what they need to do to be successful. Learn more about Seesaw icon shortcuts by following the link in the video description. Another powerful scaffold is adding a video of yourself that students can access as many times as they need. Record or upload a video that models a skill, builds background knowledge, or provides any other guidance that helps students be successful. Keep in mind, there can only be one video per page. If you include a video on a page, students cannot add a video of their own when they respond. You can also use Draw and Record to create a screen recording that demos the activity. Click the microphone to record your Seesaw Canvas and your voice. By default, your recording will save as a whole page video. To resize it, click the three dots. Then unlock the recording and use the Move tool to drag the corners of the recording to fit your template. Our third scaffold is to add audio to labels, shapes, and photos. You might read text aloud or explain a photo. Click the three dots on an object, then click Voice. Students click the speaker icon to play the recording. Finally, add visual cues that support vocabulary or comprehension. Use labels to create word banks, copy and paste emojis into labels to provide visuals, or upload photos and illustrations. Pause the video now and add multimodal scaffolds to an activity. Next, let's explore how to integrate choice and voice to support all learners. Seesaw's multimodal tools allow students to demonstrate mastery in ways that works best for them. This ensures students are able to feel successful, and you're able to gain accurate insights into their progress. When creating Seesaw activities, give students options for how they share what they learned. You might create a choice board like this. Give students the option to use a video camera to create newscasts, puppet shows, tutorial videos, or act out what they learned or give them the option to use the photo tool to capture hands-on learning, like drawing, diagrams, creations built out of materials in the classroom, or even models or dioramas. You can also give them the option to use the Seesaw Canvas to add text, drawings, and annotations, shapes and backgrounds, and record their thinking. At the very least, prompt students to use the microphone as much as possible to share their voice. Seesaw provides a safe space even for our shyest learners, to verbally process their learning, which is proven to accelerate learning. I think the word screeching means it's something really loud to tell the people it's time for the puppet show. Pause the video now and think how you might integrate choice and voice into an upcoming Seesaw activity. Here are a few tools to help you stay organized. Assign modified activities to select students, so each student receives the activity that's right for them. Click Assign, then Edit Students Folder Skills. In the Students tab, select the students to receive the differentiated activity, then click the green check to finish assigning. Paid users can use progress filters to track student engagement and mastery. In the Progress tab, filter by student, folder, skill, or activity. This helps you identify students that need more support and make a plan to help them be successful. Sometimes you need to keep assessments or examples of student learning for documentation. Paid users can also use the private teacher folder to keep assessments and documentation organized yet private. 
Only you, the teacher, can see what's in the folder. Tag a post to the private teacher folder by clicking the folder icon below the post and selecting private teacher folder. This post is now only viewable to the teacher. The student nor their family can see this post when it's in the private teacher folder. Pause the video now and practice using Seesaw tools to stay organized. You did it. You now know how to differentiate activities for diverse learners. Thanks for learning with us today. You can find more free training at web.seesaw.me forward slash training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.